Hi everybody, my name is Cyril Jeet Gupta and in this video I want to show you the Tube Inspector Jeet, a very interesting little application that works with the data from Google Keywords tool to find you the best keywords to target for your video campaigns or even your pay per click campaigns on YouTube and Google. To get started, we'll first need to get some keyword data from the Google Keywords tool. Let me show you how to get that first. To get started, first go to adwords.google.com and then click on Tools Keyword Planner. Now we need to click on Search for New Keyword and Ad Group Ideas and enter the search term in the box that appears over here. Uh, let's fill in Android app and on Get Ideas over here. Alright, so it will show us the ad group ideas but what we really want is the keyword ideas and this will show you a list of the keywords from the niche that you selected along with a suggested bid in the currency of your home country. This is the data that we actually need. Uh, well, typically uh, the keyword planner will give you about 800 keywords for the one that you chose. Alright, we need to export this data to a CSV file. To do this, click on the download button over here and then click on the AdWords uh, editor CSV and then click on download and choose the file that you want to make. Alright, so let's click on save file and this will uh, get us the file uh, that we created. Alright, so it has downloaded the file and we need to import this data into Tube Inspector Jeet. So let's go there. To work with Tube Inspector Jeet, we need to bring in the data from the Google Keyword Planner tool. I already showed you how to get that data. So now let's import it into this tool. To import it, we just need to click on the import button over here like this and select the file name. So I had kept this file name G keyword and just select it like this. Alright, so this is our keywords list and now I'm going to show you how exactly to use Tube Inspector Jeet to select really good keywords for your campaigns, for your video campaigns or even for your PPC campaigns so that you can maximize your earnings. So let's see all the things that you can do with this data. Let's have a look at the columns first. Right now we're getting things like keywords, Google difficulty, average searches and the cost per click that is the CPC. And there are some blank columns over here like the YouTube competition, YouTube top views, YouTube top likes, YouTube top comments. All of this data is from YouTube and has not been aggregated yet. But we can make it happen by clicking on this button over here which says get YouTube Google data. So if we click on it, Tube Inspector Jeet will talk to YouTube and it will try to get the data that we asked for. So as you can see that it's already populating, populating the data and this will take some time actually. Alright, so we have enough data now to see how Tube Inspector Jeet works and we can stop this uh, data collection operation by clicking on the get YouTube data again to deselect it and that will stop the further data collection. So let's try and just work with this a bit and let's see how it can help us in our uh, search for the best keywords for YouTube. Alright, so I'm going to delete all the extra keywords that we had. So we have the basic set. Here I can actually see uh, everything in perspective. I can see how difficult the keyword is. How I can also see how competitive the uh, market is, how many uh, videos on YouTube are targeting this same keyword and I can also see uh, what are the top stats for the video for the best video for this keyword which will let me know how uh, profitable this keyword can be and here I can see the average searches average number of searches on Google every month and the CPC so this entire set of information is enough to tell me how profitable a keyword can be how well it is searched, how much it is searched and how competitive it is to rank. And I can sort the data in the spreadsheet by any of the headers by just clicking on them. So I can sort it by difficulty and I will note that this is the most difficult uh, uh, keyword to rank for with only 10% chances that I will be able to rank for it. It's got a lot of videos targeting the keyword and uh, the average searches are also quite high so it will be quite difficult to rank for this. But if I scroll down, I can find some pretty good keywords, keywords that are not being targeted by so many videos, which are probably easier to rank for 
and which have a pretty good CPC. So if I'm running a content blog, maybe with uh, monetizing it with ad advertisements or something, I will be able to uh, earn a good amount from those. Right, so I can also uh, sort it by YT competition, which gives me this keyword, which is uh, the least targeted keyword um, on YouTube out of all of uh, the keywords that I've checked. And I can easily target this keyword and I can try to uh, get ranked pretty early. And you can similarly sort it by top views or top likes or top comments, uh, any any data head that you want. So uh, you can, if you talk, if you uh, sort it by average searches, you can find out what keywords are searched more often, what keywords are the most popular ones, and you can try to target them on YouTube to get ranked and also uh, get uh, get ahead in your uh, YouTube business. But frankly, I think it's actually hard for us to go through all this data check out what criterion is good for us to check out what keywords meet our criterion and to spot them and to maybe use them in our uh, you know efforts but there is an easier way to do this and uh, tube inspector jit lets you do it very very easily it in fact uh, can do it automatically all you need to do is use the auto highlight settings button over here to set up what is the criterion that you're looking for so here you can actually set up what you're looking for how difficult the keyword should be so i can choose a difficulty level i can choose a competition level i can choose a to views level i can choose a likes level or i can let it be anything if i want so it's all very flexible and it depends on me whatever information i want i have selected and i click on ok and then I just need to click on the auto highlight button like this and it will tell you what keywords match your criterion and you can target specifically those keywords. Now we have a pretty small set over here and my criterion is pretty random so uh, it's hardly highlighting a smaller number of keywords but I can if I change my criterion a bit I can get more. Okay now I'm brightening it quite a bit. Okay so you can see depending on the criteria you feed in in the auto highlight settings you, your keywords will be automatically highlighted so you don't need to waste any time all you need to do is just put in your criteria click on auto highlight and all the keywords that match your filter will be highlighted you can just use those and there is a very good feature over here which says remove unhighlighted so once you have highlighted the, the keywords that you need Maybe you have, uh, maybe you can add a couple more manually if you spot them. And once you're done, all you need to do is remove the unhighlighted keywords, and all you will have left would be the golden highlighted keywords that you can use in your campaigns and profit from immediately. Right, so this is what the tool does in a quick nutshell it lets you find very profitable, very golden keywords from Google Keywords data helping you spot what keywords are good for you on Google and on YouTube. Now, I want to give you a quick tour of the toolbar to help you understand how powerful this little tool is. The first command is, of course, import Google CSV data. And this is how we bring in the Google CSV data from Google Keywords Planner tool and uh, uh, we will so that we can process it later. And this button, get YouTube Google data, will get the YouTube data, the YouTube competition top views top likes and top comments information from youtube and fill that information in the spreadsheet so that you can quickly understand what keywords are actually good on youtube too then we have the paste keywords tool uh, the paste keywords command actually and if you click on it you can quickly uh, type in uh, whatever keywords you want to target or you can paste a list of keywords in this box and use that in your analysis but of course then you won't have the google difficulty data the cpc and the average searches data which is a part of the google uh, of the data written by the google keywords planner you can also import a list of keywords from a file you can export finally you know of course uh, once you are done with this data you can export the list of keywords that you finalized to a text file or you can actually export the entire data in a csv file which can be then opened in an excel spreadsheet so that you can send it to uh, the people who are working on your content or you can use it yourself if you work on your content yourself right and the highlight selected command is uh, for when you are working manually and you want to 
select a specific keyword and highlight it to shortlist it. Uh, the unhighlight selected command is to uh, change the highlight mode so that you know this keyword suppose I don't like it so much it's not highlighted anymore I can so that I can remove it and the remove unhighlighted command as I told you earlier would remove all the unhighlighted keywords from the list so that only the shortlisted keywords are left the auto highlight command is to give you the capability to automatically highlight the keywords that match the criteria you've set and of course to set the criteria you have to click on auto highlight settings and set uh, what are the settings or what are the minimum levels which you are ready to accept to work on a keyword fine and the next command is select all suppose you want to select everything you want to do something with it maybe highlight everything or whatever you can do this and the next one is to uh, delete so if you select a couple of keywords you can click here and delete those keywords right and then we've got we got help so that you can get a tutorial uh, so that you can come to this tutorial in fact and learn how the tool works and finally the button to exit the program so this is what tube inspector jeet does the purpose of tube inspector jeet is to help you make better decisions about your keywords for your youtube business by getting the data which is of course you know the data from from google keywords planner is pretty good data by getting that data, putting it in your uh, uh, in, a, in a perspective where you can actually compare the information from YouTube to and shortlisting very quickly, reaching the keywords that can be uh, really, really good for you that you can really target and produce videos for if you are producing content to get uh, ranked pretty quickly to get uh, to get a number of viewers and to monetize them very effectively. So use this tool for in your in your, in your YouTube campaigns, and I'm sure you will notice a pretty good difference uh, in your monetization levels in the levels of your income.